Eastern Time uh, here in Montreal. Uh, hop on, let me know where you're watching from. And I'm continuing with our series of making DIY rings that are great little items to sell at upcoming uh, craft shows in the summer. And I have a whole playlist of ring tutorials on my channel as well that you can check out. Uh, all kinds of uh, skill levels from very simple to a little more complicated. Uh, last week we did some um, face rings that were a little bit more complicated. I have all the rings here that we've been doing on the live streams. So there's some cool ones. There's, uh, there's the faces from last week. And you guys have been posting pictures in the Wire Makers Club of all your beautiful creations. It's been amazing. Hi, Joan. Hi, Kathy. I'm going to uh, flip my screen around so we can see see what I'm doing and we will get started. Hi Amber. Let's just bring this camera over a little bit more. Still got some snow outside. Here's the rings that we've done so far on the live stream and you can see the faces there. Uh, Corey and Joan both did the faces. They've been posting some amazing things in the group. You guys are always uh, do your own spin on things and, and I'm so Im inspired and impressed by everything that you guys make and share in that group as well. So let's just pull up the live stream, see who's here, make sure I'm not missing comments. Uh, we've got Joan, Kathy, Amber. If you guys are wondering, Tree Sap Girl is Amber. She's one of the moderators of the chat and uh, Clarice Iclera is Clarice, who also is a moderator in the chat. I Thank you so much, ladies. I super appreciate it. And um, we have Dragon Phoenix as well. Nice, new here, awesome, welcome, welcome. So let us just pull down, yeah, we've got a lot of rings that we've done so far on the uh, live stream. So we did like the owls, we did um, all kinds. We did the foxes, monkeys, ice cream cone, I like this one, the, and the faces were super fun last week. We had a lot of fun with those. So this week, we are doing some lizards and frogs. So that's the, that's the plan, man. I think my video is buffering a little bit, so let me know how it looks on your end. I think I'm just going to refresh my screen, and let me know if, if the uh, internet is clear, if you guys can see what's going on and I will get started. So let me just check. Looks okay now. So these are the sketches for what I wanna do. Uh, little froggies and lizards. This one was really wonky. I thought I'd try that one because I just wanted to do a lizard. Then I'm like, well, why don't you wrap it all the way around the R on the fingers? So I thought that could be cool too. And Joan's looking forward to the frogs. All good there, fantastic, excellent. So why don't we get started? I really wanted to do that one. So what I might do is start with just a regular like little lizard and then up at a level and do wrap it around the finger. You can also put like a little, just do a basic wire frame and put a lizard inside. This might be better actually, because this one I thought it, I was gonna attach it to the uh, hands and the feet and then it just, with the two bands, I'm not sure how it's going to look, but we could try both ways and see. So let's get our stuff. Good in Kansas, awesome, that's fantastic. So there, let's get our tools. I have, these are round pliers, uh, but uh, honestly guys, I often uh, default to my red ones because these are have like really fine ends. So I will be using the, my old Cresta tools, which are no longer available. If you guys find a place that have these tools, they were from a fishing um, department in a hardware store, but I no longer, they no longer make that kind of tools. So, um, so I use the Zeron, and then when I need really fine ends, I use the, um, the Cresta ones. So uh, I had two green in anoles. I'm not sure what that is, and an iguana. Cool, that's awesome. I don't know how to pronounce that word. I almost butchered it, so you tell me how to pronounce that word. And there, let us get some, and I even have the green, like green could be really cool too for the lizard. Uh, so why don't I just go ahead and get some, maybe some green wire and just start to do the little lizard and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna just do, do the lizard and then make the ring bands and then we'll go from there. So this is just the warm up. I always warm up really slowly. So let's just go ahead and cut a piece that's, you know, oh, I'm gonna measure my wires too because I have a lot of people asking me how long I cut the wires and I always forget to measure it. 
Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Nice to see you. Long time no see. So let's just measure this to about 12 inches. And then we have a ballpark of how long it's going to be. And we will just give this a little clip. You have pronounced it right. Nice. They are tiny lizards. Oh, cute. Six inch long lizards. That's adorable. So let us go ahead and start this lizard. So I used to make lizard earrings and pins and bookmarks and all kinds of things. I don't really make them so much anymore, but um, I do have some, uh, some lizards in that that I do. But the ring, I don't know if I've ever made a ring. So let's just go for it. And uh, usually, one of, if I'm remembering how I did it properly, I just start at the nose. And I'm going to, actually, we can start at the tail. Let's start halfway at the tail. We're going to just bend it like that and give it a little pinch. And then I'm going to get my flat pliers and pinch it in here just to make a nice sharp bend. So now we're going to form the tail. So let's just go ahead and I don't, really don't want to make it too big. So we're just going to go in and out. And then this part, I'm going to form the legs. I'm going to try to make it as small as I can. So we're going to bring this one up and that one up. I can adjust the tail later. And then we're just going to bring this I have to remember how I did this. Even when I used to make these, I used to get confused with the bends of the legs. So I'm just gonna do it like that. And then we're gonna do the feet. Hi, Peggy. I'm not sure how long I can watch. Oh, it's nice to see you though. It's been a while too for you, uh, Peggy. Um, hope everything's doing well. You guys had a good winter. Uh, spring is coming, which is nice. So now we're just going to do like the little toes. So I'm just using the end of my round nose pliers. Whoops, see, it's hard to get them in there. They can snap out of place. And then just bring this one up. So we have the little toes there and I'm gonna push them in. We'll just push them in. It's hard to make the rings because they're so tiny. So we're gonna bring that one in there. So we have one little toe. Maybe I made the tail not big enough, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one up here. And then the same thing, we're gonna just form the legs. So that one came, let me just see. Yeah, we just have to do it properly. See, I'm already getting confused with my bends. We're gonna bring that one up and then down and then do the toes. So let's do the toes now this way and small lizards. Yes, yeah, so there we go. So inside, in and out, let's do this and back and forth. So yeah, it's very tricky to get very small shapes uh, and this is 20 gauge wire, so if you use 22, you could get maybe a little more detail, but then it's going to be a little bit um, soft. So there's the little toes. We've got the toes there, and we're going to bring it in and up, get that in there, and then we're going to bring it back down. So just bring that one down, and then we want to bring this one up. I hope I'm not going to run out of wire, so we're going to just curve the body a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be very big for a ring, but that's okay. So um, there, we're going to bring that one around there. So there we have the beginning part of the lizard. Feet are a little bit big, but that's okay. It's very stylized. And Dragon Phoenix, uh, they are small little green lizards. My son used to say they have long uh, velo Chiraptor faces. Cool. Is that a dinosaur? I used to have some in the back. Cool. That's fun. Very nice. So now let's just bring this one here. I'm really worried I'm going to run out of wire here, but we're going to do what we can. And then, and then the toe here. So just one, two, three. I might have to make one of these toes bigger if I do the ring uh, with the... Um, if I put the ring band in the toes, we're gonna see how we do. So we're gonna get that one in here. Yeah, I really wish I'd cut this a little bit bigger, but I might be able to get away with it. So there's like the top one, and then we're gonna do this one down, and we're gonna bring this one up, and then this one. I have a friend that likes reptiles, and she used to work for a company that used to bring reptiles into the schools, for the kids and that was really cool. So that, um, but I don't think she does that anymore, but that was something she did for a long time. And I forget the name of the company, 
company, but there's a few in Montreal that do that. They just, and they bring them to birthday parties and schools and stuff uh, like that, just to educate the kids and I guess entertain them a bit too. So here we have, so far, it's looking good. And then we're gonna bring this one out and up. Okay, and then this one too. You know what I might do? Because usually what I used to do was like do bring the pull the wire back down and tie it around here, but I'm obviously gonna run out of wire, so I won't be able to do that exact design. So let me just try to do one side and the other and bring this one up. Your vet used to do that. That's really cool. So now let's bring this one around here. If you want that circle smaller, just give it a little bit of a tug. I'm gonna to try to come back down to the neck and then that way we don't have it a funny finish at the top. So let's bring this one, pull that one to the back, bring this one back down. I can't make it too big or I'm gonna run out of wire. So if we bring it down like that and then form the other eye, flip it so it's um, going in the same direction and bring this one around. Let's give it a little tug there and a little shaky but good. Oh, well, I'm glad you're getting back on track, Peggy, and that you're here, that's awesome. And, um, and spring is coming, so that's always good. More sunshine. So let's do this. Push this one in a little bit. There. And, oh yeah, this is tight for wire. So I'm gonna bring this one in. Yeah, because normally what I would do, guys, is I would take this wire and continue it down and tie it around the, the tail, just to have a little bit it a little bit more secure. But what I'll do is I'm just gonna finish it at the neck. So I'm gonna straighten this wire out straighten it out here and then bring it around just to tie it in place. See how that would have been nice to have a line down the back, but it's not necessary. So now I'm going to just tie this around, just pull it just so it's snug so I can finish it off there. That's cute. And then we're going to clip it. Hi, John. So John, this is 20 gauge wire. Hi, Rose. And, um, it's a little big for a ring, but that's okay. You could you could use 22, but it would be a little more fragile. This is the artistic wire uh, that comes in all kinds of great colors. So I'm gonna pinch this with the tweezer nose pliers. So there we have that. And then this, like I said, if my wire was longer, I would finish it down there, but it's not long enough. So I'm just going to finish it off. Like you could do a spiral with that. There's, I guess there's all kinds of things you could do with that little bit, but it's kind of a, Oh, odd length. So I'm just gonna clip it off and pretend that I did something nicer with it, but that's okay. It's just for the sake of finishing it off. Hi, Amber. And we're going to push that in place. Two Ambers on board today, awesome. And let us push that one in and close it up. So, you know, it's a little weird there, but that's okay, it's, it's better than nothing. So this is our little guy, he's, uh, I cut the wire 12 inches so you know, uh, but I would have maybe cut it a little bit longer so I had a little more leeway with it, but that's okay. So now, if you want to flatten these down a bit, gently, and uh, yeah, so this is 20 gauge wire. Uh, so this, oh, oh, sorry, uh, Rose, are those pliers more effective for making wire shapes? Are, nose pliers. You mean needle nose pliers? Um, yeah, these are good for, these are good for um, little, little, little spaces. And then I have the regular flat pliers as well. So now I'm just going to put it on the ring mandrel. I love this mandrel. It's, um, it's like a stepped mandrel. So you can get all kinds of different sizes. And uh, if you want to make wide rings, it's more consistent. So what we could do is just take this and then put ring bands on there. You could put it in a frame, but let's just try to put some ring bands on there. So I will get the 18 gauge wire for the band. So I just have this generic uh, Michaels brand. I have so many kinds of wire. I have, um, this is the para wire, 18 gauge. Uh, no, I'm gonna get the, I'll, I'll show you the other ones after. This is, um, this is the Michaels 20 gauge. This is the, Parawire 20 gauge, and then I also have, I only have 22 in the artistic wire. So these are the brands I use the most. Um, a little bit Parawire only because I couldn't find any more artistic wire, but I usually wire, I use artistic wire and the bead landing wire from Michaels. So those are my two favorite wires. 
And um, so now let us, uh, round nose would be better, but carefully to get down to the needle nose. Okay, I think I missed a little bit of the chat, but if you're wondering about, like, the toes are done with round nose uh, be uh, for sure. So let's cut a couple of pieces of this wire, and um, about three inches long. So there we go, like that. And then, now, let us get this one around here, around the seven size. We're just going to make a couple of the bands to get them ready. It's a large design, so we're going to need two ring bands. I guess, I wonder, maybe you could do, I guess you could just do a single band, but it might not be super stable. So, yeah, I'm just wondering if, because I am going to do one where I put the ring around the finger, which would be interesting too, but it would have to be a longer band. So I guess we could put the ring on either side. Let's try it and then we'll go from there. So now I am going to take this one up, straight up, and then we're going to figure out where it has to be here. So if we get to bring it around here and then bring this one maybe over here. So bring that one up here. So we've got those two, and then we're going to put it on the ring cone, just here. Hold that in place, and then put this one here. See, we might have to, oh no, they fit. I was gonna say we might have to make the, um, the loops a little bigger, but they're not too bad. So if we put this one here and this one here, I think I have made this too, I made it too, um, too, uh, close together I think those so let's just take that oh they're not too bad it's a little bit big though so let's just take this and bend it a little bit more here okay so there's one band and then we can do the other one so let's just push this one up and see what we can do maybe just bring that one up like just gently a bit uh, bring this one over here and get it right in there stick that in one of the toes oopsies okay got a little bit out of place let's just trim these a little bit too okay and I'm gonna bring this I could actually bring it to the end of the cone bring this one over here stick it in there hopefully it's gonna fit in there I could make the loop bigger if I had to and then this one in that loop here okay there we go and then bring it back down to whatever size you want and we can start by pushing this one right down here because that one's bent so we're going to push that one here and then this one we'll just bring it in a little more so the band is like firmly on the ring mandrel so see just check that it's more or less how you want it this is definitely a novelty ring, guys. This isn't like the most practical ring in the world, but it's definitely a novelty ring. You always make it look, look so easy. Well, uh, some are easier than others. Uh, definitely the lizard, I've made tons of these lizards before, so the design that design itself wasn't too bad. It's just the uh, logistics of turning it into a ring that's a little bit tricky. But even that, I've been doing a lot of the rings, so it's there's sort of like this standard way of doing them now. So now we're gonna do that one and then we're gonna give this one a little tug. Yeah, definitely a novelty ring. Uh, don't wanna wear it like anywhere that it might get like distorted out of shape or anything, but but uh, it's fun. So that's, we've got that one and we can pinch that one in a little bit more. And then this side, I kinda of like the gold with the green too. It's interesting. And we're going to take that one and Give that a little pinch and give that a little clip. There, yeah, that's a strong wire, the 18 gauge. So then we're gonna do one more. And if it's too long, trim it first. If it's getting in the way and then pull this one down a little bit. And there we go. 
Yes, yeah, I've definitely made tons of like pendants and earrings and pins and bookmarks with this design. So any any of the rings that I make, you could you could make in any other way as well. So um, so you would just have to put a loop at the end or just stick the, the a jump ring in the nose for sure. So let's just put this one on here. Adjust it how you want. I guess you could. I wonder if you would even want to like pinch these together a little bit. I guess you could if you wanted to. Uh, he's got like a little bit of a curve in him. So let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, the green is really nice. I love the artistic wire uh, colors. So let's just put it on. Yeah, so he's funky, guys. I like him. This is a little odd, but it's it works. Yeah, it definitely works. So that's fun. So that's lizard number one. I'm going to try the wraparound one just because it's... Kind of funky. Let's try that wraparound one and see how it's going to go. So I'm going to have to cut a bigger wire. Kathy says love him. Thank you. So let's try that one and then we're going to try the frog after that. And then also you could do um, a tiny lizard inside a frame if you want to do it that way too. I'm trying to see if I had one that's in a frame. I don't have any nearby that are in a frame but we could definitely do something like that too. But let's try a big, a big one. Um, I have, I guess, which wire? I'll try this wire this time. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, the double band works to hold it in place for sure. Hi, Corey. Hi, Gwen. Nice. Everybody's uh, hopping on. So now let's take this one. So if I used 12 inches for that, I'm definitely going to need more for a wraparound ring. So let's cut it about 20, I don't know, even. 24 inches or something might be better 24 maybe 22 let's cut it 22 inches and see how we can do with that and what do you do about the sharp ends so um these ends aren't really sharp because they're tucked they're flush right they're pinched in flush so those ends aren't sharp and these ones too I just pinch them in so they're like like flush against each other so they won't so they actually won't be sharp which is a good thing. Take a sip of water. So now let us do the wraparound one. Let's start with the head. So I'm going to start in the middle of the wire and we're just gonna start with the head and then we'll go from there. Is that middle? Oh, well, it's okay if it's not quite middle. So there we're gonna go. Yeah, sorry, gotta go my daughter's steady buddy. Okay, um, bye Wendy, thanks for hopping on. That was nice. And let's do the eyes. So we're just gonna do the eyes here. I don't need this to be super big. The only trouble with the long piece of wire is I'm just filming under my iPod here. So it's a little bit awkward to get everything in the picture, but, and the wire is like kind of catching on things, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one down here. So we have like the head of the lizard again. And then we're gonna just bring this one down and around and then down and around. I'm gonna make sure my hands stay in here. Uh, can't find fronts anywhere. Oh, frogs. And my, my friend loves frogs. Cool, hi Sabrina. Nice, you caught me live, yeah. So now let's just do this and let's do the arms. So this is going to be, I don't know if we need a really shoulder for that. I'm just gonna do it like this and then do, I really hope I cut the wire long enough. So let's do the, let me just bring this one in a bit. I don't wanna make it too, too long or I'm gonna run out of wire. So let me just bring this one in and do the toes. So we're gonna just do our little toes up and back. Mustafa! Hi Mustafa! Nice to see you! Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, this is my YouTube channel. Is that, um, I'm not quite sure what you mean, John, because we're on YouTube. This is my channel. Um, unless you were asking somebody else, um, and I missed that. So that's, uh, that's okay. So now we're going to do this. And... Yeah, all my tutorials are on YouTube. I do have a Facebook uh, page as well, but I don't really do live streams on Facebook. And um, I have Instagram, but I also don't really do lives on Instagram either. So there we go. And we're gonna bring this one around. 
and this one down here. So there we go. And after the live stream is done, I always post pictures in the Slack app. And then we also use that app to when we do the Let's Get Wired live streams, which are, we're due to do another one soon, guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to do another Let's Get Wired and let me know what we should do because I haven't really thought about what we should do on the next Let's let, let's Get Wired. Last time we made bees and it was super fun because everybody shared pictures of their bees um, uh, live, like in the app, and then I get to show them on the screen. So here is Lizard so far. I don't know how well I did the shape of the arms, but I haven't done these guys in so long, so I've kind of forgotten. So now let's just put this guy on here and then to do the wrap around ring, we would have to just like literally wrap it around. This was an idea I had in my head and we're gonna see if it works. We're gonna wrap this around. It also might be a little bit fragile because the wire is quite soft. But see, if we wrap it around there, maybe if you did some wire weaving to hold it together a little bit might be better because I'm a little worried it's going to be fragile but, or beads or something, that could be cool. Uh, so why don't, I saw you on my phone. Oh, okay, how do I find you on YouTube? So John, my YouTube channel is Heather Boyd Wires. So you can just search uh, YouTube for Heather Boyd Wire and you will find me. So there we go. And I do live streams every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time-ish. So here's this one. And now we have to do the legs. So that was my question, what sort of direction do the legs go? So I think they're just going to, this is a continuation of that. So we're just going to take this, maybe around here, okay? And this is gonna be the funniest lizard ever. And her icon with the channel name somewhere under, thanks uh, Amber, yeah, I think, um, it should come up, should come up. And uh, if you would subscribe, subscribe, that would be awesome. And then you can get not uh, put the notifications and then you'll know when I go live, which is usually every Wednesday. And then the Let's Get Wired, we usually do on Saturdays or Sundays uh, around noon. So that's gonna be coming up soon. So yeah, this is a little bit wobbly, but maybe once we've got the feet formed, it's going to hold together better. So this is what we've got so far. Let's form the leg. So this goes up and down and I don't want to make it too big either or I'm going to run out of wire. And then we're going to form the toes. So we've got this one and we're going to form the toes here. Uh, Oh yeah, exit out of the chat maybe or you yeah, you could hop on um after when we're when we're done you can definitely check it out. So there we go. So we're going to do this and this. Yeah, I don't know how it looks when it pops up on the phone. I didn't think that uh you could see that without actually being on the app. So uh so there you go. So we're going to just do this and then down. So there's one side and now we have to do the other so we're going to take this one down and I really hope I have enough wire for this and we're just going to tell me if my hands keep going off the screen maybe what I could do is lift this a little wee bit so you guys can see that might be better I feel like I'm, my hands are going off the screen so now we're going to take this one and form the other toes so we're going to do this and we're gonna do this one and this one. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you, Mustafa, for sending the link to Slack because that I'll be sharing pictures of all these on the Slack app after. I'm not super active on Slack. Uh, as such, but for the li post live streams and uh, the Let's Get Wired, that's where I'll be posting everything for sure. And you guys can join and share pictures of your work in the share your work section as well, especially if you don't have Facebook. A lot of people don't have Facebook, so this is a way that you can share your work. Um, thank you, Amber, for that. Yeah, so just search YouTube for Heather Boyd Wire and you will find my channel and I would really appreciate it, so thank you. So now let's just bring this one down and then we have to uh, kind of connect this up. I feel like I did something wrong with these legs, but 
I think it's going to be okay. So now we're going to bring this one in here. It's so funny. I used to have trouble. I Like I've been making these designs like for, for lizard, lizards for probably about 25 years, but I always seem to get a little confused with the direction of the legs. So I don't know. It's just maybe I should just look at a picture of a lizard to copy it to see for the direction. So... Perfect. So we're all set, John. Thank you. That's, that's, I really appreciate that you wanting to find my channel. So that is great. And I post tip Tuesdays every Tuesday and Saturday I post a video too. So this is what we have so far guys for the lizard ring. This is, this is uh, over the top. So now what we're going to do is we want to make the tail and I did sort of a spirally tail. So let's see if we could do something with that. And I just want to see how we could do this in a way. Yeah, let's just kind of finish it off because we have one, one that's longer than the other. So if we kind of finish this one off here so it doesn't like bend everywhere. Sometimes I do a little cheat sometimes is I actually like bend this one first. Okay, so we're going to just bring this one first. Uh, Joan says cute and Kathy says fun. It definitely is fun and unique. Yeah, definitely fun and unique. Uh, maybe not the most practical ring to wear, but it's definitely going to be unique. So what I do when I want this wire like not to slide, I wrap that one first and then this one, you make sure it's centered. And then I just take this one and bend it around and cut it flush. And that's a little hack. Even though it looks like there's a little knot there, it's a nice little hack so that your wire doesn't like slide back and forth. So there we go. So let's give that one a little bit of a chop. We'll just trim that one there and get our uh, needle nose pliers or they're called tweezer nose pliers, the Zeron ones. So we have this so far and then yeah, it looks a little weird with that knot, but that's okay. And then we're going to make a spiral. So I guess I could have done maybe a double Maybe a double wire would have been good because this one I actually did like a double wire, but I think I'm just going to do a simple spiral. We'll go from there. And so let me get a pen out of here. Oh, there's my hair. You don't want to see my hair in there. So I will just, this is my little bag of, my little pot of stuff. Here's a pen. So let's get that. Peggy's back. Yay. It's me, Aditha. Hi, Aditha. So now we're going to take this and which way do I want to do the spiral? Up that way and this way. It's definitely groovy fun. There we go. So we're going to bring this one around here a few times. This is my preferred way to make a spiral. We bring it around like that. This, uh, I'm going to need a better round form for that. Whoopsies. What do you do that? There we go. It's that end of the wire. That end of the pen was a little squared. So there's, this is how I like to make spirals. We just do a twisty and there we go. Hi, Teresa and hi, Munir. There we go. Let's and Tony Ed's channel. Nice. Hi, Tony Ed's channel. Hello. Hello. So let's clip that guy and we're just going to hold it and twist it around. So with your round pliers, twist it around, flick of the wrist. Okay, so that's how I start my spirals. And then we're just going to take this end and keep turning it with, with your wrist. And then if the wire is soft, you can kind of do it with your hand a little bit. But you just want to try to get it somewhat like, like centered pretty well. But that's not too bad. So there's, you can do a little adjusting. It's hard with the color wire not to scratch it. But it just takes a little bit of practice. So there's our spiral. And then we can flatten it a little bit. Yes, yeah, spirals are fun. Hi, Rita. No worries. No worries that you're late. We, we usually go for an hour, an hour and a half or so. So, yeah, so this guy is wild. Let's put him on the ring cone. And if you did this with wire that wasn't um, green, that wasn't had a coating, not have a coating, you could like hammer it a little bit too. I'd be worried about hammering it with the green wire because it might... Um, it might uh, scratch, but so this is your like little spiral tail thing. If I did it again, I might do a double wire spiral to get it a little bit more um, 
uh, how do you say, a little bit more solid. The sketch I did had like a double, a double uh, spiral, wire spiral. So this is what we have for the ring. Uh, Teresa, hello, hello. And so cute. There we go. So there is our funky uh, ring that looks pretty close to the sketch that I did. So that's pretty good. Just this wire, this was a double, a double uh, wire. So let's try to do some frogs. Look at these little cute little frogs. This is how I used to make frogs as earrings and, um, and pins and stuff. So I could try to I'll start with one like that and then I'll do my one with a bead. So let's do that. So we're gonna put that one over with the pile and let's do a frog. So I'll just do it with regular 20 gauge wire. So let's get a piece of the wire. So I don't know, let's, let's measure it so we'll know. And we'll cut it about say 15, no, let's do 18 inches. I don't wanna run out of wire. So we're gonna do 18 inches. And I will start by doing the frog that, the frog the style that I used to do and go from there. So let's take this one and how did I used to start? I usually start with the eye. So let's just start with the eye and take this and bring it around here. And then just the nose and then down for one leg. Oh, I'm making this way too big. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is a ring, right? Okay, I'm making this way too big. So, oopsies, let's remove that. Okay, let's try again. So, I am gonna try again and we're making a ring. So let us, hi Amanda, no worries at all. So let's just bring this one around and if we want that eye to be a little smaller because we're making the ring, we're just gonna tug it a little bit and that makes that ring, that. A loop a little smaller. So now we're going to just start forming the frog and I'm going to try to keep it small. I forgot we were doing a, a ring already. So we're going to bring this one up and then same type of little webbed toes that the lizard had. So we're going to bring that one up and up. Another one up and then another one looks huge because I'm not used to making them so small and it's hard to get the detail. So there we go. So frog with big feet, that's okay. And little baby toes, yeah, yeah. And Rose says, enjoyed your tutorial, have to go. Well, thanks for hopping on Rose. And then we have a great day or night or whatever is your time zone. So now we're gonna just bring this one down here. We're gonna make a little belly little frog belly, and then we're gonna do the other one. It is actually getting a little bigger than I'd planned this guy, but that's okay. And then we're just going to do the uh, toes on the back. So we're gonna go here and maybe pull it out a little bit more and then back and forth for the toes. So we're gonna go. This is why I like using my old pliers because they have nice fine tips, which is great. So one, two, whoop, that snapped a bit, but as long as I don't snap through the wire and then up that way. So there's the three toes. You can just bring it in a little bit more and bring it in there. Definitely has big feet. I'm gonna just bring this one over a little bit more Bring that one in and then just bring this one up. So up there. So bring that up to the bottom, the like the knee thing. And then we're gonna bring this one down. I just have to remember how I used to do this. So I think what I did was I'll just bring this one up here cause I have to have somewhere to twist the wire. And then I just did like a little frog butt. So I remember doing that. So we went go up and down. You'll see why I'm doing this after. So there's this little there's this little frog butt. I don't know if frogs have butts, but this guy does. And then we're gonna take this one and bring it back and do this leg. So it's like the other arm. You can't see it, it's hidden, but you could see the two back legs. So 
This is a design I did many, many years ago, and it just, I don't know, I'm, I probably did like different iterations of it, and then this was the one that stuck. So uh, this is uh, a fun way of making a frog. So let's go ahead and do the toes, and then back and forth. Okay, so there's toes. And then we're going to bring this one straight up. So now those are all the appendages that we want to make. It's kind of cute, little big, that's all right. And then we're just going to bend this and then up and around. So yeah, I definitely cut the wire too long because I forgot I was making a ring and making it smaller. So there's Froggy. He's actually a very pretty design, you know, just design wise. I, I, I like it. So now we're just going to bend this one around here right around. Actually, I usually like to help it first with the wire. So decide where you want to bend it. Round pliers, help it out. Bring that one around here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring it all the way around here. And then what I like to do to hold it all together, you don't have to, I guess, but I like to do like a little line down the back kind of differentiates the center back. And then I just take it in here and finish it. So there's actually a few things you could do. You can, you can cut it and put a separate wire for the ring band, or why don't we try, I'm just trying to see what, hmm. We could try it this way, where you just stick this in here, twist it all the way around on a lily pad, that would be adorable. I like that idea of doing like a frog on a lily pad ring. That would be super cute. So we're gonna bring that one here and then this end I'm just gonna finish, okay? So I'm just gonna take this end and whichever way you wanna finish. You can finish it towards the back, towards the front. Maybe it would be better towards this way, even though like the direction looks like it should be going that way, but I think we could just finish it that way. So turn it around. So stinking cute. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute little froggy. So now we're gonna just clip that and bring that one in there just to have it finished there. So there's froggy, there's a bit of a knot there. So maybe, maybe there's another way to finish that, but cause what I used to do is do a loop at the top and make earrings. So for the ring, it's a little different. You have to find different ways to uh, finish it. So now if we put it back on the ring comb, maybe imagine we made it a little bit smaller, might've been better. You could definitely like hammer it a little bit to uh, get it to hold in shape here. So if we just bring this one around, yeah, he's rather large, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this. And then if we brought that band around, then we could just stick it in the, in the toe here. So let's just take that. We're just going to clip that a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to lift this, stick it in there. And this is fun because it's all made with one piece of wire. So that's cool. And now, yeah, frog and a lily pad would be super cute. Like if you had a little maybe bead even that looked like a lily pad or you can just like make the shape of a lily pad. That would be cute. So now we're going to take that and give it a little tug and then we're gonna clip that one. So let's give that one a little clip. If we can access it, in you go. Let's see if we got that one. Yeah, perfect. So now we're gonna do that. And then I put it back on the ring cone. It's hard to see the frog cause he kind of wraps around the finger. But if you'd made him a little bit smaller, it would be more obvious that the knot is a wart. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. So there's Froggy. His little leg gets a little lost there, but if he was smaller, you would see him better. But he's, that's the idea. He's super cute. So there's Froggy. So now we've done three rings. So now let's try Frog with um, beads. I'm gonna grab my beads. Here's my favorite beads. I'm pretty sure we could use some green miracle beads for the frog. So let's go and 20 gauge wire again. 
So let's just keep going with this 20 gauge wire. I could use silver as well. So let's go ahead and see what I did. Could do a spiral, could do it straight through there. And I didn't really think in terms of how I was gonna do this, but we're just gonna play with it. So let's take a long piece of wire, let's measure it so we have an idea. If I cut about 15, let's cut 15 inches of wire and so my Wi-Fi is going nuts. Oh no, that's too bad. Is it raining there or storming? Uh, so now let me think what I want to do first. Maybe do the feet first and then put it up through the other side. Let's try that. So if I take this and then imagine I put a bead like for the body. I want to make it quite small so I'm going to remove this so it's not distracting and I'm just going to imagine so if I had the ring there or the bead there uh I save frog Corey says I save frogs and toads from our pool every day ah yes I can imagine oh my goodness uh yeah you I mean for sure they're going to want to jump in your pool I have a friend down the street, she runs the art school and she has, she has a man-made pool in her backyard where she swims uh, with her koi fish and stuff. So that's a more like kind of a natural environment where people, uh, where the animals uh, naturally go to swim and stuff. So, uh, so that's cool. That's good that you save them though, because there's not really much else you can do other than cover the pool, but, um, but still, you can't watch them all the time. So now, let's just take this, see how big that's going to be, and then bring this one down. And I thought for the toes, just to keep it simple. So let me just see how I could do this. If we just did like a little, like a kind of a Celtic kind of knot thing. So if we did one down, uh, let's bring that one right down. That one, and then that one. And then a third one. Yeah, this is a total experiment. Bring that one in here. And then another one here. So if we did that, yeah, it looks like one of those little Celtic knot things. And then we're going to bring that one down. And then up again. Oh, I hope this is long enough. And then down. And then we'll do the we'll do the knot thing again. So if we're going to let's just do it mirror image though. And then we're going to go towards the front. So we're going to just bring this one around there. Yep. Yeah. And hi, Amy. Sorry you're late. No worries. Having dinner, different time zone. Unless dinner is lunch. I'm not sure. I always call dinner supper, which is like 6 o'clock. So I don't know what, uh, what time zone. Oh, and thank you, Clarice, for sharing the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. If you guys aren't always already in the Wire Makers Club, you can join the club and share pictures of your wire art and jewelry. We have a lot of fun in that place, in that club. So, whoops, I meant to bring this one to the front. So I'm going to bring this one up. Uh, just post my resin clock. Ooh, nice. And that's in Slack. Uh, Mustafa, I'll have a look after the live stream and see what you posted because I think you spoke about that last week, okay? The resin clock, that is very cool. Wow, Mustafa does all kinds of very cool experimentation, a lot with resin, which I still have yet to try because, you know, I have too many projects. So these are cute little feet. There we go. I, Algeria, wow, cool. 750 there, wow, that's really neat. Is it getting dark yet? Our, our sun sets like around five-ish, five a little later now. Um, so it's starting, the days are starting to get a little longer, but still a ways to go. So now I'm just realizing if this would go through, you know what, I, sh I really should have cut this wire longer. I'm regretting that because we could have brought like these two wires straight up and then probably put this wire on here. That's the trouble with these designs. See, they both, they actually, look at that, they're both going to fit in there. So I, I should have cut this one longer. So let's just see what we can do. If I did it again, I would cut it longer. So now we're going to do this one. Let's just bring that one that way. So if we bring this one, 
Let me just see what I want to do here. Mm -mm. Do I want to go ahead with the head? Maybe. So let's get a little bead for the head and see if it's going to work. And nice. Yeah, I, I think I have some resin too that I, I meant to use and I haven't used it yet. So this is looking cute, uh, but we would have to like form the head around. Unless I want to finish it there. Could also do that. Uh, let us... Maybe what I'll do is just leave that here for now. So I'm going to just take this, start forming a head. So we're going to just bring that one around here. Start forming a little bit of a head thing here. Not quite sure what I'm doing, but we're going to see. We're going to bring that here. It looks a little funny. Um, maybe I want it more pointy, but I'm not 100% sure. Hmm, let's just maybe go for it, I guess. So we're going to bring that one up here, just up here. And then maybe I could just make this part a little more pointy. So we're going to just do that, bend it right down. Then it looks a little more pointy. Because I like the idea of the frog having a pointy nose. He's definitely cute. He needs a little bit more work. And we're going to just take this one and bend it out to form the leg and bring that one down. Okay, there, and then up. I should have maybe made this a little smaller, but that's okay. So now let's do the same thing with the, with the loops. So we're gonna bring this one to the back and we're gonna make these cute little Celtic loop feet things around here. Yeah, yeah, resin sounds like a lot of fun. I just haven't got around to uh, doing much with it. The closest I got was I bought some, or I didn't buy some, the Beetle On Company sent me some clear uh, Sculpey, uh, that liquid Sculpey that I kind of used like resin, but the trouble was it wasn't really that effective. It was a little cloudy and it was kind of plasticky. So I, I really would like to try some real resin. So now because I messed up this one a little bit, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just bring this one to the front uh, and maybe form a spiral or something with that. And I'm going to form the leg with the longer wire because otherwise it's just not going to look the same. Like I want it to look symmetrical. So we're going to bring this one up here. And then we want to bring this towards the front. So let's bend this this away. There we go. And Amanda says, Heather, are you still going to do a 10 day challenge? Yes, still planning to do the. I've actually filmed four of the videos already for the 10 day uh, watercolor challenge. Um, but because I have so many projects, I haven't got around to finishing it. So I should be launching the 10 day watercolor challenge in the next two weeks, I would say. So I'm hoping to do it by, maybe I can give myself a deadline, maybe in a week or something. I'll see what I can do. But like I said, the half, like um, four of the videos are filmed. I just have to edit them and put them together. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested, you could check out my Heather Boyd art channel and join the 10 day watercolor challenge. It just, uh, yeah, it, it's a challenge to get everything done that I want to do, but uh, everything in its time. I, I was actually talking to my friend um, Renee about that. She has a channel doing yoga, restorative yoga, and I set her up with her channel a few years ago, and we were talking about current projects and stuff, and she was saying that... Um, I said, oh, yeah, I'm so slow to start some of these channels because I have or some of these projects because I have so much to do. And she, and and she said, yeah, I know what you mean about being slow. And then I in my head, I said, oh, slow is the new fast. <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But I thought it was cute. So now here is we can just end this one off, I guess, just bring it around and give it a little clip that's actually going to go in a comic for sure. If you guys don't already know, I write comics and a lot of the comics are just like weird things that come to my head and and things that I find uh, sort of funny but also not necessarily funny so let's clip that so there's that yeah watercolor challenge coming soon 
Uh, so now we are just going to, no hurry, just looking forward to it. Aw, thank you. No, thanks for the gentle reminder too, because I, I do like to um, keep to my word when I say I'm going to do something. So uh, it's just sometimes takes a little bit more time than we envision. So, uh, so there we go. Let's pinch this little one in. There's a little extra end that I was hoping to pinch underneath here, but I'm having a little bit trouble getting it to go in. So go in there. Why don't, why do you not want to pinch there? That's not too bad. So there's Froggy. He's looking really cute, really cute. Actually, that would make super cute earrings. I love the toes. I think they're adorable. And, uh, Beto, <laughs> great minds think alike. Amanda says bead frog is adorable. So now Let's just try, because I had wanted to do a kind of a spiral thing on it. So I just don't know if this wire is long enough to make a spiral, but let's try. So we're going to bring that one over here. And then I'm just going to take this and bring it in. There we go. So hopefully we're just going to like bring it in with our... Yeah, I'm not used to making spirals this way. I usually do the cone method. Uh, sometimes doing spirals this way, it's a little bit hard to get them even, but I'll do what I can. I mean, I don't have a choice because the wire is so short. So we're just going to bring that one in here slowly. Bring it in. Don't. Yeah, so the idea would be to do like a little spiral on top, but maybe it's not necessary. I don't know. Do you guys like the spiral or should I remove the spiral? You let me know what you think because it kind of covers the green, but it's also kind of cute. So let me know if you like the spiral. I can try to adjust it a little bit more, maybe open it up a little bit so you can see the green as well. Let's try to see what we can do here. Whoops. Let's just try to open it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked, so let's pull it up. I'm going to just play with it a little bit more. Spirals are nice when they're more rounded, so, I mean, it's okay if it's a little bit distorted, but let's try to get it a little bit more round. Push that one up. Maybe pull that one down a bit. Yeah, so let me know if you like it. You love the spiral. Okay, don't remove the spiral. Yay, C. Gwen. <laughs> Thank you. G. Gwen, sorry. Uh, there we go. So let's keep the spiral. So there's Froggy. He is adorable. I'm not sure how well we're, he's going to go on a ring, but we're going to try. So now where is this one? So we're going to just like push this one down a little bit because we this bead is going to stick into your finger, right? So we have to like kind of push it down a little bit so the bead sticks up a little bit. So let's just kind of push these down. Let's not ruin this spiral. Bring those ones down so the bead is in a position that it's not gonna push into your uh, finger. Oopsies, let's not scratch that. Okay, so let's see. If we get that one here, we just want it like to push down there. And I also want you to be able to see these hands and feet thing. So let me just bring these in a little bit more because I do, I don't want these to be like between your fingers type of thing. So if we bring these in a little bit, be too, too wide that you're not, not going. A good idea would have been to do was to, with the other wire, bring it around and form the, um, the ring form. So let me just see. He's kind of cute. He's very, he's kind of big, but let me just think what I want to do. Cause I, I kind of like the way these are like free forming and not, if we did a double band maybe and had it attached there and there, 18 might be too big, but I can try. So let's see. Uh, Cassandra says, love it. Nice. Can't wait to see a close up. Yes. Yes. And Donna, hi Donna, and Scorpio, Scorpius Jr. Hello, hello. And S. Tarita, hi, hi, hi. So let us take this 18 gauge wire and do a kind of a, let's just try it like this first. So take this, we're gonna go around here a couple of times. 
see if we could do it with one wire and if not we can always do it with two wires so say we had this and just okay let's just put this right on here and okay hold that in place put froggy on there you could even be bigger if you wanted put froggy on there and what if we just took this one and bent it back here okay and then this guy Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we don't need it around three times. Let's see. One, two. Okay, let's bring it here. Bring that one down. Yeah, I guess we could just do it around once too. So let's just try that. Okay, I'm gonna just remove that. You could do a double a double band, but the thing is it's knocking into that bead. So I'm gonna just try a single band and take it one there and one here there's a lot going on under the neck you could have maybe made the neck a little bit uh, more space there so it doesn't get so bunched up but it's not too bad so now donna says hi every hi heather and everyone hello hello so now oh srita thank you so much i uh i have such fun with this guys i think when you're passionate about something you just uh and when you spent like thousands and thousands of hours working on it you develop a style and and uh, and I just have such fun with it and I always love working out new um, new design solutions right to do because I, I sketch them out first and it doesn't always work as planned so it's kind of interesting on these live streams just to see what works and what doesn't work and hopefully I save you guys a little bit of trouble if you're trying to create a design or trying to do something to figure out, you know, why things don't work and why things do work. So, so this, it's fun. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. And I think it's in my family because my brother is an inventor. He invents uh, electronic stuff. And so I think we're, my dad's an engineer. So I think a lot of it comes from, you know, in my family, we're, we're all about like figuring things out. So that ended up pretty good. So let us do this. And he's wonky now, so we just have to kind of adjust him a little bit. So this is going to sit properly. If you have to, like, take it and, like, kind of twist a little bit, should work. So there is our ring with a funky little band, 18 gauge. Oh, he is adorable. Might have to fix him up a little bit, like position of the arms and stuff, but certainly... He's cute for sure. And I bet, I bet guys, you could probably get away with 22 gauge wire for this because of it's the wires are folded back on themselves. So there's stability there. So if you want the froggy to be smaller, you can use um, 22 gauge wire and he's gonna work quite well. Corey says, you're so helpful. Oh, thank you. I just love like learning from each other too. It's just so fun. So bouncy kitty, hello. There we go. So now, uh, what have we done so far? So we did, we pretty well done almost everything that I wanted to do. I can do one more like that, uh, just to show you how to do, you would do one in a little band. And, uh, and then that'll be it. So let's do the last one. I'll just get the 18 gauge wire and cut a piece that I should measure it about Probably six inches is fine. Let's try seven in case we run out of wire. So we're gonna do seven. Tie dye Don, hello, froggy. Yes, froggies and lizards today. So now if we bend this one at about the three inch uh, part ish, bend that at a right angle, and then I can get a round form. This is where I keep my round forms. This is like, I call it my little babushka doll. So we have our pill bottles, that size, medium size, smaller size, and smallest size. So we're gonna use that to, this actually might be too big for a ring. That's, that's gonna be large. That might be a little large. So let's try maybe this one, the highlighter, and we're gonna bring that one around and around. So let's see. It's pretty good. It's a little big, but let's just go with this. I don't want it too small either. So we're gonna bring that one around. Oh, I could have done six inches after all. And we're going to remove that and give that a little click. Push that in right there. 
And then rather than form the band yet, I think I'm gonna just make the little, the little thing to go inside. So either a froggy or a lizard. So, and it's gonna have to be super, super small. So let me get some green wire, but I'm just wondering, let's see what other green wire I have. This, I have these little wires, but this is also 20 gauge. It's a little bit um, thick. So let me see if I have uh, more needle ideas from Heather. Thanks, Don. So I'm gonna see if I have 22 gauge wire. And I don't think I have green though. And let me see in the 20, I have, this is really thin though, I do have 24 gauge wire, but that might be a little thin. So let me just see what I have. I have also brown, so let me see what I got. So I have brown, I have green, and I have like this olive green. So I don't know, what do you guys think? that I should do frog or lizard and green or brown. So maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Hi Rashida. And I will do um, a little, either a lizard or a frog in the circle and either with green or brown wire. So you guys can let me know. I guess I could also do with a bead as well. Um, I'm not sure how I would do with the beads with the lizard. Oh, I can see lizard brown, lizard brown. Wow, consensus already. So, oh, it said, <laughs> Sabina said dark green. Oh, there we go, two-turn green frog. Oh, interesting, okay, cool. Hi, Tish. So brown, let's try the brown lizard and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna cut a decent piece of that. Probably it's more like 18 inches. And then what I can do is, I'm gonna have to do it as small as possible. I don't even know if it, this is gonna be possible, but maybe I'll try the lizard toes like the frog toes just to try something a little bit different. Although I'm really thinking this might be way too small. I might have to end up doing a larger uh, frame to put it in, but that's okay. Hi, tiger, brown lizard. Okay, let's do it. Uh, how about a green lizard? Well, we could also do a green lizard another time. I did do two green lizards, so let's do the brown one and see how it goes. So what I wanna do is start with the tail and what I'm thinking is we could probably wind the tail around there after. So I'm gonna just cut the, uh, do the tail quite large because I can loop it, maybe loop it around after. So what if we just did that and I can deal with that tail after. So we're just gonna do that and then I'm just going to go up and down and try to keep this as small as possible and hope it's gonna work. So now we're gonna just do these little loops for the toes and tug it. And then this one, and then give it a tug. I really hope I don't break this wire. So this one, and then tug it. So we've got one toe got really small, but I'm not gonna be too fussy about it. So we're just gonna go up there and then up there. And then this one, we're going to uh, do it as well. So that way, that way. And then we're gonna do the toes again. So this one around here. And give it a little tug. That one I didn't tug enough maybe. And then this one, although when I did the first one, when I tugged the second one, the first one got smaller too. So there we go. So that way. And then this one, one more. And then that way. So we've got little toes. Hopefully you can see them. Uh, Blue Lily says the toes could be holding the frame. I think that's a good idea too. Uh, but I'm going to start like this. And maybe what I could do is add another wire to attach it to the frame um, to, so it's more secure in place. But I think you're right. I think the toes in the, uh, attached to the frame would make give it more stability. So let's just, we're just gonna go for it for now and then we'll see what we can do to improve it. And I really think I've made this too big already. So we're gonna see what we can do with that. I might have to make a bigger frame, but this at least just gives us a little bit of an idea. So we're gonna go down 
and up. And then we're gonna bend the toes towards the front. So we're just gonna bring that one around here. And yeah, maybe I'll have to attach it to the frame with a separate wire. So we're gonna push that one in there and then another one. And after the live stream, I am going to have a cinnamon bun from Ikea because Ikea didn't have cinnamon buns for months and months. They, they just didn't have them. And then now we were there on the weekend and they had them. So we bought cinnamon buns, put them in the freezer, and that's what I'm going to have after the live stream for a treat. So those are a little bunchy, but that's okay. So now let's do this side, bring that one around. And then we're going to do the other side here. We'll do the other leg. Here we go. Lizards are like mini dragons. Cool, I love that. So now we're gonna bring this one up here. It's very magical. So now we're gonna bring this one here, around here, and do the three toes, and then we're gonna figure out how to attach it. It's definitely a tiny little lizard, that's for sure. Heather, I was wondering if maybe you could do a live stream on Saturday for resin on your art channel. Hmm, I'm not, I'm not sure if I can't do live streams on my art channel. That's the only problem. I don't have enough subscribers. You need a thousand subscribers to be able to do a live stream. So if I did a live stream, it would have to be on Instagram or um, on uh, Facebook, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready for the, <laughs> to do a live stream on resin, although that would be great motivation to get it done, right? Because I've been very slow about getting it done. Let me think about it, Mustafa. That's a good idea. So now we're going to just bring this one in here and yeah, so that would be, that would actually be a really good motivation to get it done because then I would have to be accountable to you guys to do the resin. So let's do this, bring this one in and bring that one up. So now, so far, this is what we've got. He's actually super cute, guys. So now, hi from India. Hello, hello. You can do it. Yay. Yes, a cheerleader. Yay, yay, yay. I can do it. So maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I should. <laughs> oh, most of us going to get me, get me to do the, the resin. I just have to make sure I still have it downstairs. I had it downstairs for a while. Uh, so if I was to do resin, Mustafa, what should I what should I make with the resin? You let me know if um, what I should do with that because at this point I'm not quite sure. Like you could use it for art too. You could kind of like varnish art pieces with it as well, which is kind of cute and very cute. Yay! You can say my name. It is Sejal. I hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. I tend to like butcher names sometimes so if I didn't pronounce it right you can write it phonetically and then and then I could improve it so now we're going to do this sometimes I actually go on to uh, YouTube or Google and type in a name and say how do you pronounce this name and ultimately you know they Google has everything so here's here's the lizard and then usually what I did was if I wanted to have a loop at the top I would just like bring this one all the way around give it a good little tag Feel that lizard. Yeah, I um I guess you could put some I guess you could put some beads on it. What I used to do is just take this wire, bring it down, and then it forms like a kind of a backbone thing on there. So what you could actually do is put beads on there if you wanted to. Um I could see if I have some brown beads. That would be a good idea. I'm pretty sure we have to make this loop uh bigger. Yeah, that's way too small. So let us or if we did a Maybe if we did a more like, um, rather than a circle, why don't we do a, a rectangle? And then I can also see if I have any beads that would go in there. It's Sajal, Sajal, not C. Ah, Sajal. Okay, cool, awesome, very nice. So now let's go ahead and see if we put beads in there. These are the only, these are beads I just happen to have with me, but I don't know if we want to put beads in there or not. I guess you could like put a few let's see how they look I just happen to have these these are my friend Allison's beads and uh, she had them in categories because she used to make like eyeglass holders so this is even one of her elastics for making eyeglass holders I think or maybe a bracelet I forget so I don't know there's those beads maybe one more we can see how it looks there's also the lighter colored ones too uh, Mr. John Vlog Shadow watching from Saudi. Woo, cool. Hello, hello. So now we 
I'm not sure I like those beads or not. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, there's those bigger beads, or there's like smaller beads. We can try these. Uh, oh, bye. Thanks for hopping on. Bye, Sujel. Thanks for hopping on and have a good sleep. I guess it's getting late there. So now I have little beads too. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. And we can go from there. It's, sometimes it's tricky to get these little beads on there. I don't think I have any like miracle beads or any of those that would be suitable. See, that hole is too small. These are finicky little beads. I don't know what size this is. I think this is like the, maybe the 15 size. I do like the beads, but said they don't want them to go over the head there. So let's see, let's just bring this one here. Uh, 1248, Mustafa? Oh no, you should not be up this late. <laughs> oh my goodness. If the beads don't work, zigzag the wire. Now that's a good idea too. I like that idea to do like a zigzag type of thing on the wire. You could do that. Yep. Because I'm not sure I'm loving these beads. Let's just see. So yeah, that might look interesting, eh? To zigzag it. Let's just see how we go. What I'm even thinking to do is I could even like maybe twist it around the neck a little bit. I'm just gonna try something. If it doesn't work, I can I can pull it back. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. It's just what I'm thinking now is I don't like the way the the this wire goes down past the eyes. So I think I'm actually going to clip it and then reattach it because I don't, it's so small. The small beads do the zigzag. Okay, with the beads and the zigzag, let's try that. So let's just cut that and uh, pinch this one so it stays in place. And then if we reattach the wire because it wasn't it was, um, here, let me push this one in a bit. It was like covering the eyes, so I didn't like that. But if we do something like that, let's get this one back on here. And just around, maybe like this one. Whoopsie. So if we have it just around here, and then try to do like a zigzaggy thing. Maybe I'll pinch this one in a little bit. Okay, let's pinch that one in a little bit. And these beads are really, really tiny. So, Heather, you should try alphabet keychains. Okay, but don't I need, uh, for the alphabets, I think I would need a, a form, right? I would, need, um, I would need a resin mold, I think, unless I did something with wire. But the trouble with wire, it's very hard to get the resin to not leak from underneath the wire. That's, I think you need those silicon molds, eh? I think so. Um, I don't know if we can do a zigzag with this. We can try if we just like bend it that way. Um, trouble with these beads is they really like wiggle. So let's just see if we could do something here. Put another one. Um, and there, these are teeny tiny beads. Wow, I do not use these beads very often, but let's try if we hold that and bend it back and try. I don't know how good my, my zigzag is, but we're gonna see. It just gives it a little bit of interest, you know, otherwise it's a little bit plain, especially for the um, ring. It's nice to have a little bit of bling on it. So take that and bring that one across. Yeah, they're, it's very tricky, but you kind of get the idea. I like that. I think it's cool. Glue gun. Oh, glue gun for the resin. You could go to your local store and get molds. Interesting. And Oh, in the baking section. Hmm. Glue gun around the tape down wire. Oh, you guys are awesome for the resin. So maybe I should just like experiment with all those things on the live stream. Let me see what I can do, because we could do a let's get wired resin. <laughs> that would be fun. Except I don't know if I want to do the resin on my channel or not. I'm not sure. I'll have to decide. I'm trying to stick to wire on this channel, so we would just have to see. But if it's if I'm making wire molds, then it is actually wire, so we'll see. But I like that idea. So maybe Saturday, but I'll let you know. If I do do one Saturday, I'll let you guys know in the uh, Slack group. So there's that. 
Um, that's cool. I like that idea with the zigzag and the um, and the um, beads. It looks good. It gives it a little bit of detail. And then this part, I'm just gonna like tie around the end here. So we're just gonna like just clip that one here. Perfect. Hi, Aurelia. Hello. Nice. Oh, thank you. There we go. So we're gonna clip that guy. Silicone molds are also used for chocolate. Mm, that makes sense. So that's perfect. So next time I won't look in the craft department, I'll look in the baking department. That's a great idea, Mustafa. I'll go to uh, Michael's and see what they have and, uh, and just do it. Yeah, you guys are keeping me accountable here. So there's super cute lizard guys, super cute. Guess you can use guitar strings for wrapping. Yeah, yeah, gu guitar strings are fun. I did a few bracelets and stuff. I know Joan has done a lot of things with guitar strings in the Wire Makers Club. So she, um, you have a supplier, eh, Joan, of Joan, of, of where you get your guitar strings. I have a few. I've did, done a few tutorials, but... Um, but not nearly as prolific as Joan is with those. So there we go. So there's little lizard. So now, yeah, he's definitely too big for that. Although it's, actually, you know what? He's not awful. But I'm going to do a rectangle maybe and see if that works better. So let's do a rectangle. Takes a long time to dry. So see, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So let's get the uh, 18 gauge wire again. Have a little sip of water. And I have to finish on time because I have a meeting with my income tax lady on Zoom to um, sort out income tax stuff. So that should be a barrel of laughs. So now let's just go ahead and bend this one. So to know how uh, tall this should be, I have to pick up today. Cool, Joan. What are you working on with your guitar picks these days? Let us know. So let me just see how high this should be. Probably about here. So we're going to go here that way. And then how wide this should be. This is going to bend over the bottom. So this goes here. And maybe these should be like on top or over to the side. We're going to see. So if we're going to do that one here. So I can measure it actually. Let's get this. I have to go now. It's already tw uh, 2124 in Finland. That's 924. Oh my goodness, that's early for me. I go to bed at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh well, I shouldn't go to bed at 2 a.m., but I do go to bed at 2 a.m. Why not? Everybody's got their own routine. So there's five eighths of an inch. And then this one, we also want to measure five eighths of an inch. Okay, so we're going to bring that one down. Perfect, so we've got our rectangle and doing more bangles. Awesome, very nice. You haven't done anything with guitar strings in a long time. Of course, we didn't see any of our live music people all winter, so uh, so now I'm due to, to see them. And actually, I had got some from my friend Caleb last summer and I boiled them because, I don't know, Joan, if you told me to boil them, someone told me to boil them and they all rusted. So uh, So I have to get some more guitar strings at some point. Oh, so you know what I could have done is done a double band, but I, this is too short, so I can't do a double band. So I'm just going to take this one, bend it out here, and I will just bend this one around, I guess. Uh, yeah, I could have just done a loop or something. Let me just say, duh, duh. oh, that might have been interesting to do like a loop. Oh, I won't do it now because I've already started this, but I just was thinking because I like things to be a little bit symmetrical, but if I had done a like a loop here and a loop here and then this around here and then just do a loop and then just this do that and just do a loop and then we could do bands and bands. Why don't we try that? That looks fun. Okay, let's try that. So I'm going to get rid of that and start again. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Uh, yes, boil them and wipe them down really good with a towel. So I don't know why mine, mine, um, they rusted literally in the boiling water. Like it was weird. I don't know why that happened. Anyways, so maybe they were just odd ones. I'm on the 2 a.m. schedule too. <laughs> yeah, 2 a.m. Eh? It's just nice and quiet in the house at 2 a.m. I, I don't know. There's something about it that I really like. So now let's go ahead and do a couple of loops here. 
I'm going to leave. Actually, it doesn't have to be, I didn't need that much wire. So we're going to go around here, do a loop here, and another loop right beside it, the other way, right beside it. Okay. There. So we've got this double loop thing going here. Let's see how this is going to go. We got nothing to lose, right? So we're going to do that there. And then I'm going to give that a little pinch. So now we have to see, oh, well, why don't we go ahead and measure what the previous ring was height wise. Uh, CNB, Chris, hello, too difficult. Yeah, this is definitely difficult projects for sure. Not beginner. These are not beginner projects. So one and about an eight. So if we're going to just center this here and just go a little bit past the seven mark. Okay. Just a little bit past there. And then the same thing. We're going to go here. And we're going to go a little bit past there. There. Okay, so these are, this is the beginning point. And across and across. And then what did I say it was like five eighths of an inch or something across? Mm. Yeah, about five eighths. So we're going to take this and bend that one down about five eighths and then this one too, bend it up about five eighths. Perfect. And then let's do another couple of uh, loops on that side. I'm not quite sure if this is going to work, but we're going to see. So then now we want, we should probably measure it too. So let's put it back on the ruler and then measure this and it's going to be a little past there. So let's just take this one there and about there. So this way we can kind of measure, we're gonna to have to like wiggle them down a bit. So let's just bring that, wiggle that one down a bit more and wiggle that one up maybe a little more. So we wanna just make sure this is going to sit somewhat evenly looks pretty good. So we're going to bring this one in and around. Kind of like the way it looks. So we're going to do this one here and then this one here. So let's see if it sits nicely. Uh, how long experience do you have? So Chris, I've been making wire jewelry for like 30 years, uh, more than 30 years. I started in 1989. Um, I was actually uh, used to be a graphic artist and then I started, I hated my job, so I quit my job and I in Toronto and I moved to Montreal and I started making handmade buttons, hand-painted buttons and started selling them on the streets of Montreal. And then over the course of the summer, I started experimenting with jewelry uh, started experimenting what with wire and then at the end of the summer I met my now husband and he was making little wire bicycles and he gave me some wire and I just never stopped making wire after that so I had 30 yeah since 89 that's 30 33 years it's a long time that's for sure so here are the little loops I should have made them a little bit smaller by my third go, it resembles a lizard. Nice, nice, that's awesome. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you're making the lizards right now. If you are, post them in the post live stream section on Slack, and I'll have a look after the live stream and see what you guys have done. And I'll post pictures of these too. So I'm just gonna, like, I wanna make these loops a little bit smaller, so I just pulled them in a little bit more. I'm just gonna do this one a little bit more, get in there. Uh, it's a little hard to access. Okay, and then we're just going to pinch them in a little bit. So they're not perfect, but they're okay. Oh, and I scratched the wire a little bit. So that happens. So now we've got this one and this one. So now it looks interesting. It's a little crooked, but it's that's the idea. And then we want to put the lizard in there. So now, can you also use a mold that came with the Sculpey kit? Uh, well, the trouble is um, the Sculpey kit... Uh, they forgot to send me the moles. I think they did. Did they finally send me some? I think they, I, I forget now. If they finally sent me the molds, they were, they, when they originally sent it to me, they forgot the molds, but now I don't remember if they, if they sent them or not. So I'm going to have to check 
But those ones go in the oven, so are the resin molds don't go in the oven. I don't know if it makes a difference. I'm gonna have to check that and see. So I'm just gonna wind this wire in a couple of times at the top, clip that one in place. There we go. And to DM her Mustafa. Yes. Yep. Sounds great. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Amber. Great suggestion. Yeah. If you have any suggestions for the for the resin, let me know. I will remember about the chocolate molds though, because that's a brilliant idea. So now here's the little. This guy is adorable. I love the beads. Oh, you guys uh, give such great suggestions. So now let's just bring this one over and I'm just gonna loop this. I'm making a hook, just making a hook there and I'm gonna hook that in place. So that that's easier than trying to like hook the wire on and then make the, the lizard after. This is much easier to do like a little, I've done that a lot with my work where I make a little hook on the end and then you can hook it in place. Um, this one got a little bit distorted, so we could just pull that out a little bit. So here's what we have so far. Um, you could attach these to the sides. Um, it's going to be, it, it's a little finicky. If you feel you have to, go ahead and attach those to the side. Otherwise, if you pinch these wires in enough, it should stay, it should stay in place. So now let's do the ring band. That is so cute. I'm going to grab a sip of water. As long as the molds are silicon. Okay, good to know. So now I'm just going to recycle some of these little bits of wires that I was going to do that with the frame and they didn't work. So let's just clip those. And then if we attach them into here for the ring, let's see if they're big enough. So say we do it like the size, let's do a bigger size. Let's do a size eight. Here, we're going to bring that one around. So, and let's see if this one's big enough. We'll do a, also a size 8 around here. If light can pass through for some resin. If the light can pass through. Now, oh, the light. Is that for resin that you cure with the light? Um, I think there's an, another name for that kind of resin. I th maybe we're, we have two different kinds of resins. I'm not quite sure. Um because I think there's a kind that you need a light and then there's another kind that just dries naturally. So let me know uh, which one you mean. So now we're just gonna bend that end up and then we're gonna put this one in here and then see where the other end should be bent. So if we bend it around here maybe. So we're just gonna bend that one here and this one here, UV resin needs a light. Okay, so is that the one that you have Mustafa, the UV resin? because maybe I didn't buy the right one. I'm gonna to have to check. I think I have to go to Michael's again. I'm gonna to have to see if I have the one with the UV resin because then I have to buy a light, right? So this might be a more complicated endeavor than original originally planned, but I'm sure it's worth it. Um, I just don't think I have the UV resin and a light. So I'm gonna to have to check that. So now I'm just gonna measure these back and forth to make sure they're about the same size. This one here, this one here, and we're going to bend this one up. So there we go. Whoops, didn't quite work. Let me just remove this for a sec. There we go. No, I use epoxy resin. Oh, okay, cool. Epoxy resin, good. Okay, now we're just going, I think that's what I bought. I think I bought epoxy resin. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check. Perfect. So now we're just going to bring this one up and there. Okay. So there's, there's those two and I'll trim this one a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, let's just have these straight up. It's going to be easier. So straight up. And then this one will go in this side and that one in that side. So let's go ahead and bend this one back there. And then this one, mm -mm -mm. that way. And then this one too, we're going to bring this one here. See, this is getting a little distorted here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that, but for now, let's just keep it pretty simple. I'm going to bring this one down and then this one here. That one down here. 
Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's put it back on the ring cone. It's gonna be a little bit large, but that's okay. So let's start with this side. Okay, we'll start with this side here. And wouldn't be good to for a live stream due to the long curing time. Aha, uh -huh, I see what you mean. Okay. And the and the one how did you resin come out with bought with the bottles? How did your resin come out with the two bottles? See, I haven't tried it yet. So because uh, I think I bought the kind that you have to mix the two bottles and I haven't actually tried it yet. So, but Tish, you're saying uh, if you use the resin with the light, how quickly does that cure? Like, does it cure within minutes or does it take a little bit longer? Because, yeah, I guess for a live stream, it would be better to have something that works quite quickly. This is a little funny here. These these edges are a little funny, but we're going to just try. So we're going to remove this. And five minutes. Okay. Epoxy resin has the two bottles. That's right, where you have to, um, you have to uh, let it dry overnight, I think. Yeah, I think so. I might have bought that one. I'm going to have to check and see. So now let's just clip this one. And, and then this side. And then we're going to get our uh, Zeron and tweezer nose pliers and get that in place. And this one. I think we're going to have to adjust the lizard a little bit too. And then this guy, bring this one down and that one down. And then we're just going to clip that one and clip this one. There we go. And see if they're going to hold in place. We're going to see. So we're going to bring that one here. Whoops. And you get. And this one. Bring that one in here. See, the, the lizard has moved over a little bit. I think this isn't too bad. It's a little wobbly. I bet if you hammered the frame a little bit, just so it's a little more stiff and holding in place, you could do this. This one, this one moves back and forth. So it you could wind the toes in with another wire if you liked. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it for now. I just don't want to add too much wire to it, but you can definitely like give it a good little pinch there and give it a good little pinch here so it doesn't as long as it doesn't damage it, but like it's not pinching in very well, but if you do pinch it, maybe bring it in a little bit and pinch it more, it should hold in place. But for now, it's great. So, so there we go, guys. That's it for lizards. Uh, we'll uh, do. We'll talk about the resin at some point. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with that. I'll see what I have and see if it's possible to do a live stream. Um, if not, uh, it'll be a work in progress and you guys can share, if you are doing resin, I don't mind if you share the resin work in the Slack app, not in the Wire Makers Club, but you can share it in the Slack app uh, and in the share your work section and show us what you're doing. So here is the ring for the lizard. It's a little bit big. It's kind of interesting. Definitely needs some work, but I think it's cute. So let me show you what I did. Awesome. You're going to send me the information. Fantastic. So we did lizard in a frame. We did cute little frog with the bead. Let's maybe put them on the, on the ring cone so you guys can see them. So lizard. And then we did froggy. Okay. And then we did this frog, which you can see if you kind of twist it around like that. That's cool. And I'll put pictures of these in the Slack app so you guys can see them. This is the wraparound lizard ring that goes all the way around your finger. That's cool. And this is the little, the little lizard with the two bands. So Amber says they're so adorable. Corey says very cute. Awesome. Tisha says thank you. You're very welcome and really lovely. Thank you, guys. So I'm going to switch the direction of the video. Say goodbye. And uh, yeah, we'll be in touch about the resin and about the Let's Get Wired live stream. So thank you guys so much for hopping on. That was super fun.
Uh, which is your favorite? Let me know which is your favorite ring. I really like the way this guy turned out. He's cute. And this lizard. I really like that one too. So those ones, it's not focusing, but maybe if I do this, it'll focus. Uh, not really. That's okay. Yeah, so guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the Wiremakers Club on the Slack app. Um, have an amazing day, amazing night. Uh, if it's late, go to bed. It's getting late. So, uh, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Uh, keep doing more rings. And um, you're very welcome for the live stream. Thank you, Mustafa, Clarice, and Amber for always, like, taking care of moderating the chat. And uh, I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys the next time.